The Ioniq 6 is the latest electric vehicle in Hyundai's lineup. It was made to compete directly with the Tesla Model 3 and the Polestar 2. I was invited by Hyundai Canada to the Ioniq 6 launch event where I got a first drive of the new car. Unfortunately, I did not have too much time with this car, but hopefully I will get my hands on it again in the summer, so stay tuned for that video. If you're watching this video after the summer of 2023, check the description for a link to, hopefully, the full review of this Ioniq 6. So, what's this new car like to drive? Well, let's go for a drive and find out. Here in Canada, the Hyundai Ioniq 6 is only available with a 77.4 kWh battery pack, at least for the time being. Hyundai may decide to offer with the smaller 58 kWh battery pack that is found in the Ioniq 5 at a later time. In the Ioniq 6, this larger battery pack allows the car to drive for up to 581 km, that is in the rear-wheel drive trim with the 18-inch wheels. If you opt for the all-wheel drive with the 18-inch wheels, the range drops to 509 kilometers. And if you option for the ultimate trim with all wheel drive and the 20 inch wheels, which was my demo vehicle, then the range further drops to 435 kilometers. I drove the car for approximately 150 kilometers, which consisted of highways, city streets, going up and down a mountain, and some hard acceleration pulls. When I returned back at the hotel, the battery still had 58% charge and was estimating approximately 230 kilometers of range. And again, this was the top spec trim and the shortest driving range. So what I'm trying to say is that this car is very efficient, and most of that is due to its shape. It may look like an oddball, but everything was styled with aerodynamics in mind. From the active aero flaps in the bumper, to the wheel design, to the spoiler, and the sloping rear end. It's all for efficiency. As a result, this car has a drag coefficient of 0.22, not far off from the Mercedes-Benz EQS sedan, which is currently the most aerodynamic car on sale. But when you don't care too much about driving range and just want to go fast, the Ionic 6 is a pretty brisk car. This all-wheel drive variant produces 320 horsepower and 446 pound-feet of torque. This allows it to accelerate from a stop to 100 km an hour in just over 5 seconds. The rear-wheel drive variant has a 225 horsepower and 258 pound-foot of torque electric motor. When you show the Ionic 6 some corners, it tries to hide its weight, but it's hard to get past the laws of physics. There is some body roll that the suspension tries to keep in check, but it doesn't quite feel as athletic as something like the Ford Mach-E GT but it is noticeably a bit more lively around corners than the Ionic 5. With traction and stability control turned off, the rear drive nature of this electric sedan and instant torque from the motors means that you can go a bit sideways. If you want to, that is. At the limit, the car is surprisingly easy to control despite the more eco-friendly tires that it comes with. Steering is sharp, albeit lacking just a bit of feel. But overall, this car manages to balance good, everyday, city driving dynamics with a more fun-to-drive nature if you find yourself on a winding mountain road. The Ionic 6's wheelbase is actually a little bit longer than that of the Hyundai Palisade. This means that this car has a lot of leg space, whether you sit in the front or in the back. Tall adults like myself at 6'4 really can't complain about the legroom. However, we can complain about the headroom. In the front, it's not too bad if the seat is lower to the bottom, but in the back, it's a bit tighter. 
Furthermore, if the front seat is at its lowest position, there's pretty much no space underneath it for your feet if you're sitting in the back seats. The trunk is on the small side at just 317 liters of space. The back seats do fold down for a bit more space, and there's a 14 liter storage bin under the hood for small items. On the move, the Hyundai Ioniq 6 is quiet and smooth. Being a streamlined electric car, there's very little wind and road noise. Obviously, there's no engine noise, but you can introduce some exotic spaceship noises if you want to through the infotainment system. The suspension absorbs bumps very well and the ride is just as comfortable as the one in the Ionic 5. The Ionic 6 starts at a pretty reasonable $55,000 Canadian, which does make it eligible for EV rebates, at least here in Canada. To get it with all-wheel drive, it'll cost you an additional $3,000. And finally, the top spec ultimate trim with all-wheel drive will cost you $64,000 Canadian. For the price, the Ionic 6 comes with the same features that all other top spec Hyundai models are equipped with. Heated and ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, heated steering wheel, a large power sunroof, surround view cameras, a head-up display, wireless phone charging pad, power operated trunk, and so on. One feature that is being updated and implemented in many more Hyundai and Kia vehicles is the Highway Drive Assist 2. This allows for some hands-free driving on certain highways, but only for brief periods. However, the system is very good at keeping the car centered in the lane, and it reacts quickly enough to changing traffic conditions, such as a slower vehicle getting out of your way. Additionally, this system can make lane changes on its own, but you have to have at least one hand on the steering wheel in order for the maneuver to initiate. The interior of the Ionic 6 has some styling cues from the Ionic 5, such as the dual screen layout, the same climate controls, and the same steering wheel. It's the center console that is different with a bridge design that allows for some small items to be stored underneath it. It's the placement of the windows and door locks that tripped me up a few times. They're also located on this center console and not on the doors. The Hyundai Ionic 6 will start arriving at dealerships in April of 2023, so you won't have to wait much longer to see it in person. For the same starting price as a Tesla Model 3 and almost 600 kilometers of driving range, the Ionic 6 sounds like it'll be a hot seller. Even as you move up in the pricing, the car comes with a lot of features, drives really well, and still has plenty of driving range. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I should have a more detailed review of this car in the summer of 2023, so stay tuned for that video. If you're watching this video after that time, there should be a link in the video description for the new review. I hope you enjoyed this first look at the new Hyundai Ionic 6. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.